Hey guys, Paul with Weapons of the World here. Today I'm going to be talking about the Browning M1919 machine gun. Some basic characteristics and information on the M1919. Its country of origin is the United States. Caliber is 30 caliber Browning. Overall length is 41 inches with a total weight of 31 pounds. Speed and magazine capacity was 250 rounds of linked 30 caliber ammunition out of a ammo box like this. Its operation, it was recoil operated and air cooled and fired at a rate of fire of about 500 rounds per minute with an effective range of about a thousand meters or a thousand yards. You could probably push it out to about 1500 though. Some basic history on the 1919. It was designed to replace the M1917 which was a water-cooled machine gun during the First World War. However, the 1919 kind of missed its chance. It was put into production just at the end of World War I, so it was not able to see any actual combat. However, it was kept around uh, until World War II, where it was used by every branch of the armed forces. They would put the 1919 in planes, on boats, on gun carriers, and the United States Marine Corps used them in the Pacific Campaign to uh, very great effect against the Japanese. The 1919 was much better than any, you know, Japanese machine gun like the Type 4 Nambu or the uh, Woodpecker or anything like that. It had also several variants of the 1919. There was the 1919A4, and there was also the 1919A6, which was probably the least popular, and that was the 1919A6 was lighter. It also had a buttstock, a wooden buttstock, and a carrying handle. And it was really meant as, kind of think of it like a 1919 BAR kind of thing, where it was a squad automatic weapon. It was just really over cumbersome. It was massive. It was hard to, you know, lug around. It was pretty heavy. Uh, for just one man to carry, so it was never really popular with any frontline troops. So now we can go into the actual uh, operation of the 1919. Like I said, it used a recoil operation. So what that means is basically when the round is fired, the recoil from the actual bullet being fired moves the action rearward and cycles the bolt and also in case, in the case of this machine gun, it also moved the feed tray cover to cycle the rounds. As we can see, it this little arm pushes this block, and it basically grabs the next cartridge in line on the link, and that feeds it into the gun. All in all, the Browning 1919 was a phenomenal light machine gun. Uh, it was used throughout World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and even into 1990s where the US Navy actually uh, converted the 1919s into 7.62 by 51 millimeter NATO and used that for a short, short time on gunboats and stuff like that. It was used also a lot in Vietnam when uh, SEAL teams would be inserted to like the Mekong River Delta, I think I'm pronouncing that right, they would, uh, the SEAL teams would be brought in by boats, and m more than often than not, the 1919 would be one of the machine guns on those boats alongside like the Browning M2 and a Mark 19 grenade launcher. But like I said, it was much loved by its the troops that used it, whether Marines, Airmen, Army, or Navy. Uh, the 1919 was extremely reliable. It was simple to produce. It was also relatively cheap for a machine gun. I believe the, during World War II, uh, the government paid, I think, 30 or $60 for one 1919. So it was well loved by everyone. But anyways, guys, that... That wraps up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe. I'll have a link to my channel down below. Thanks for watching. Catch y'all next time.